listen to a young girl who was saying that the Arab community here is totally very angry. So be very interested in this point at all. Yes, I want to much meaning and riches to offer humankind. You know, after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these red lights on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet. Welcome to my art space once more. I'm Ari Ivo and I hope you enjoy this painting that I'm trying to to bring forth here. I will be touching the theme of elders elders in African belief systems. This is a very necessary concept to exploit as in the study of governance is very relevant. Many have thought democracy only came to Africa with colonization. But with communities that have been living as nations for thousands of years, that could be a contradiction in terms. And elders form a very significant aspect of governance in these communities. And they are the parliamentarians, but the more complex kind of parliamentarians because they do not only really legislate, they work with the secret societies to interpret as well as to execute laws. So I'm trying to paint them as a body that is linked together. They were the crowns of society. And I'm very interested to make the necessary links. So our story is coming up. Society. Depends on the elders in Africa. They are wise. They normally advise even kings. And that is why you see that even though the contraptions or the titles that are given to them depends on the community. They usually can even summon the king to interrogate the king on pertinent issues about his rule. Hence, accountability. Among the Bamun, for instance, in Cameroon, every two years you have what's called a one in which a selected group of people have to ask the sultan 
certain pertinent issues on certain decisions he's made so far. Now the matters of the state lie in the hands of these guys and the chief. Some of the legacies of colonialism may also lie in the way rulers or leaders have been called over time. The the word chief, in terms of etymology, or its historical sense, might have some level of difference with what communities hold their, their rulers to be. Chief kind of like paints a picture of absolute rule and someone whose ears are not to the ground. But in terms of the governance of certain society, societies, it is usually necessary to contact your people in order to make decisions, as with many fondoms, lamida, and so on in Africa. So the painting is a simple painting, and it is evolving the way I want it. And we cannot do this without the African sun, which is very vital to the cosmic logic of the continent. Now we shall be adding colors to, to give both a mythical as well as a contemporary look to the painting. I will be adding some designs that are African, for instance, to heighten the story. Usually circles are a safe way to go about things. You see, that one comes out very clearly. Sometimes we also have some blocks that we can we can build we can build to to come up with our heritage and of course the strings are also something important that we should use from time to time as the African has got a musical soul and probably the hearts should be given some eyes to make them alive and to transform them into the sacred societies that are also within communities. Now, we we'll probably need to show some symbols of what these guys talk about. We talk about natural resources, food, talk about building the society which I will symbolize here with a ladder
and they talk about culture which I will symbolize here with a max I think we need more than one mask to heighten the diversity of their work and I think the painting is very African now and uh, the drama in the work of these legislators and rulers is coming out. It's wanted. I think they talk about totems as well, so coming up with a totem here wouldn't be a bad idea. So, these are some of the symbols that you can find in Africa. And yeah, our focus is with these gentlemen, the elders who govern the society. So, we have our colors to, to use in the painting. I will be trying green and yellow and red for the start so that we have some kind of representative coloring of the cosmos of the rich Africa that you know. coming up many African soils are very rich and brown is a very important aspect in the natural design of Africa in the first place and so it's good to exploit that So the painting is coming up, as you can see, the colors are representative of the African cosmos that the elders control and there is vitality with reddish tones and uh, that's about life, governance. A lot of times it is said 
development management has actually neglected those who are custodians who govern communities because the processes are usually top down and this has led to the failure of many projects in development management or in developing countries so it is usually advised that those who will power within society are actually used in the implementation process of projects. I guess that is what writers and scholars like Dehan and Zumas in 2005 were probably trying to explore in the academic paper. Well, our work is coming out. No. So the painting is evolving, as you can rightly see, and Guys, I'm making your mark. On village politics. So we are in the bottom most part of the painting 
we're about to wrap up things here as you can see much of the boat has been filled with colors of elders and with the mask the job is about being completed now we have to start the process of carefully spreading out spreading out colors so that we can have some harmony usually there's some color in the brush that is hidden until you have to start this process before it starts coming out yeah These are kind of skills we like to spread out from the African Center for Community and Development. So you see our work. And just watch it as it's being displayed. So you can see the final work. And these are the elders. They are responsible for legislating in African traditional belief systems or communities or states as it were and they still exist in some communities and that is why so many people advocate that the House of Chiefs might be representative even more than modern legislators or the legislative assemblies in some places. But then that's what we're talking about, it's not about this. So you see I've been able to come out with a contraption that's representative of the people in terms of the African understanding, you have the totemic representations here, the mass and so on, which are issues that are being discussed within the community. And these are the guys who are responsible for it, this community here. And I hope you enjoyed watching the painting. Thanks very much for watching. So be very interested in this point at more than We do much meaning and riches to our human kind. You know, after some of these earthly adventures and the war, one can still find footprints of these red lights on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet.